Yo, call me Jolly the way I'm a rancher. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates. Today and only today, we are here with actually a fun, unique video, which is what are the most iconic, coolest Sonic shots? Like a picture or a frame or a moment from a game or a cutscene, whatever, that to you when you look at it, you're like, fuck, that is one of my favorite things. And please, I want to hit 50k subs by the end of the summer on YouTube, so please consider subscribing if you've been loving all the content. All right, so let's get right into it. So for me, I picked this shot from Sonic Colors, right? This is from, you know, the CGI trailer. Now, I don't want to show any footage because that defeats the purpose I feel like of the video but this show was always like everything to me the moment where he jumps forward you know he's there and he just stands out there with the with the pixel block standing next to him and then he looks up but I don't know it always gave me like the sense of like hope and joy and everything and to me it encapsulated Sonic so well now we got my boy ultimate here don't act like this intro wasn't the raw thing I mean look at this shot this shot alone like you would think this series is fucking crazy just by looking at this shot. I mean look at shadow you got the full moon behind him out there you got the city you got him on a rock as fire bro you got him enraged over here you got him out here looking out at the, the distance with the flame bro you got him zooming towards like these shots are fire my boy bryce says for me it's this frame from unleashed seeing sonic run and drift up a wall to dodge missiles was insane for me as a kid i mean even looking at this shot just alone is so fucking cool like, look at sonic you can just see like his energy in this picture you know you see a tilt a smile you see some some squash and stretch energy going on like it's cool it's cool brooklyn says these shots sonic was beating caliber and destroying he still got up that's my go bro uh let's see this shot and the whole opening in general perfectly summarized the vibe of sa2 which is already a game that's perfectly vibe i mean come on bro obviously in motion yeah this shot is iconic but this shot is awesome like it's just so cool alone even if it's an old screenshot like this just gives you that vibe like bro is on like you know a, not even a regular like snowboard or skateboard or whatever like he is like on a helicopter pad diving into the sky and he gives you that smirk and you know you're about to go on an adventure a second time. This mainly for jokes that gave us meme material. I mean, look, it's just, Sonic in this shot is fucking hilarious. So he's also dead. You gotta refrain from using SA2 intro since I'm sure that's uh, ingrained in Fidel's brain. So obviously we got the shot from the opening of Sonic Adventure. I can just hear this shot, you know. Ah, oh, yeah, this is happening. We got, oh, this frame. This frame from what's called Sonic uh, 06 is pretty fire. I like this one. Supreme here, which obviously again a fire shot, but that's why it's so disappointing the frame after when he doesn't have these wings. And of course, this shot from Sonic Adventure to Raw as Hell. All right, interesting choice by Logo here. This shot also makes me heavily emotional just looking at it now it makes me tear but when we first saw shot frontiers trailer i know joke broke my chair this shot man it means so much to me i mean yeah this was the shot that you know caused almost a lot of conversation but gave people hope we were like oh my god we are finally getting sonic in a different line a different environment than him just standing on this rock was like we were just looking into the distance you know we were analyzing like what buildings are in the background where you'll be able to climb oh why is this building upside down what's going on you're like i just I just feel like this set, this set such a good tone for like the marketing of Sonic, you know, Frontiers. It made us think a lot and wonder what the hell is going on. You're, you know, I agree with you. I love this shot. Hard to decide between these two as someone who did not grow up with CD. These shots just scream Sonic to me for the most. He may seem cute, but he's a spunky attitude little guy. I mean, yeah, I think Sonic CD in general, like any shot from that gives you that energy of Sonic. But yeah, he's a little, he's a little like, you know, devious little guy, but he's got such cute energy. Like the mix of Sonic being able to just look cute. But menacing at the same time is fine. I mean, look at it. He's just looking at a flower. It's such a simple thing. And here he's just posed up. I love this. I've also always loved here how the arms are like behind the head detached from the body. It's very stylistic. You know, obviously it's meant to imply that they're in the back, you know, of it, uh, in the back of him, but it's still clean. Interesting. This shot from Eggman and Unleashed because it legitimately looks like a screenshot taken from Next Gen despite the game having come 14 years ago. Okay, that's a pretty, I mean, yeah, this is a pretty sick picture. It also looks menacing. And again, just Unleashed, gorgeous game to this day. Ooh, this. This means everything to me. I'll never stop loving this because it's a story of perseverance. Ooh, interesting by Logan. This means everything to me. I'll never stop loving this because to me, it's a story of perseverance and always holding your head up high, even during the roughest times to me. That's what Sonic was all about. So yeah, Sonic holding you, you have time to worry. Interesting. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of Sonic 06 thematically is very beautiful, very much designed like a Final Fantasy story uh, in a lot of ways. But yeah, I can see why a lot of these shots are cool. You know, as silly as, you know, the relationship between Elise and Sonic 
Sonic is, it's definitely one that sparks, you know, hope and keeping a smile and building for a better future. Oh, the cutscene, the scene sold me on the game. Okay, yeah, I mean, the shot of Sonic standing while Gigantos is watching him, fire. Oh, <laughs> still the best Sonic form as of now, the triumphant music playing in the background as you prepare to wield Excalibur. Bro, look how fucking sick this is. I mean, it's Sonic holding his blade and it's like charging him. It's so cool, man. I cannot get over it. By A and I will always love this shot. I mean, I, this shot is iconic. It's so simple, but it's like just you have this whole game, you know, where these two are rivals and they get together at the end, but it's not just let's work together. That like sort of just fuck it. Let's get right into this. This handshake means a lot. It spun up a lot of fan art and I just, I love this shot so much. The whole intro to Jens and Cabot signing for me with this shot especially sums it up. I love this shot, man. Just classic Sonic, perfect amount of blue right here. Modern Sonic, both of them looking at each other, both of them with their style, you know, and their energies. And it just, it's a look of, you know, hey, I get you, man. You're the go. And I just, I agree. I love this shot too. Ooh, might be an odd one, but these are some of my shots that popped to my head when to define Sonic. That's how we gotta that's how we gotta live life to the fullest in the time we have. At least that's what I figure. I love this shot. I mean, it's such a simple shot, but again, it's like you get so much of Sonic's character just from the look of it and look at his face, the flower he's holding, and what he's saying. You're just fa fantastic shot. I love everything about Sonic and the Black Knight thematically. Seeing Cloud Star for the first time in years because of Generations. This shot is incredible. In fact, people don't know this, but this shot is actually a reference to an original like art piece created uh, early in the 90s uh, for Sonic. So seeing modern Sonic pull this pose and Cloud Sonic reapplying this pose is always sick to me. The ending of Unleashed that leads to the endless possibilities. Man, every time I see this and hear the song, I swear tears swell up and I feel a frog in my throat. Yeah, I mean, this... Beautiful shot, you know, beautiful shot leading into the end of the game. And also, like, I just, the problem with this shot is too, I can't get the image of man out of my head when I see a shot like this now. Ha, <laughs> Fidel, look at him. He is him. He was cooking on God. I mean, you could take any frame from Sonic Riders opening and I would be happy, bro. Just the style. Like, this shot alone just oozes so much style. And I, it's just, it's fucking cool. That's, that's all I have to say about this. It is just fucking cool. I was a little surprised when they went to start doing Adventure Tour against Sonic X, but I'm really decided to, okay. Ooh, without a question, what got me into the series. I mean, yeah, Sonic's iconic little smirk over here and this shot of an adventure. Uh, I respect this one. I respect this one a lot. Opening cinematic of Secret Rings. Yeah, I mean, this shot is awesome. I mean, how else can you define cool than a shot of Sonic looking into the distance? Beautiful CGI, a flame running through his heart. Fucking awesome. Super Sonic slashing nine and a half lives rent free in my head is one of the coolest side modes. I'm I mean, come on, man. This this shot is fucking phenomenal, man. Just everything. Like, this, I still cannot believe this is real. To this day. Could I pick the entirety of Sonic Unleashed? I, I get you, man. I get you. To this day, some of the best cinematography for the character. Ooh, Blue says this picture alone made me start reading the comic. This this picture is perfect. I've even redrawn this myself. I love this frame so much and encapsulates so much of the raw energy of Sonic. Something about this really speaks to me. I, you know, I respect it. I mean, look, I can, I can just hear this one, right? I'm hanging on to the other side. Ooh, ooh, Melted Sea. I don't know why I love this and look at it. He's so happy. Yeah, this is awesome. This is from the Mario and Sonic of the Olympic Games opening. What an adorable shot. He's so happy. Look at my boy. Oh, BFG says greatest aesthetic of any Sonic game. I mean, I agree. Starlight Carnival, one of the best looking stages in Sonic in general. Just aesthetically, the backgrounds, the music, everything about it. And this shot just encapsulates the energy of Sonic colors so perfectly. I mean, of course, simply read. Nothing needs to be said. This is the shot of all time. Oh, I love this. I love this by Jaya. Perfect conclusion to one of the best Sonic games today. Yeah, I love this. I mean, I like. Like, this shot alone just, hey, sign me, like, peace out, leaving at the end of SA2, fire. Yeah, there are so many moments I enjoy from the Sonic series, and seeing Super Sonic on the big screen was awesome. I mean, what a sick surprise that they kept for Super Sonic to be in the, what's it called, in the Sonic movie, too. I love that they didn't promo material it or anything. It is just a surprise, and it's fucking awesome. This combined with Sonic's low, let's get this party started line to find my entire childhood. I mean, yeah, Sonic here is, like, just... The, this shot alone, you just know it's Sonic Heroes, right? Because the gang's together, they're all funnily posed, they got their fun little cute character models. I, I love this shot. No more compromise, this is do or die. And now you've crossed the line, you know, in the mission shine. Look at him, bro, crashing the party with the best look ever. Again, another image you can just hear. I can hear Hyper Potion stunning. Purple says he's that motherfucking guy. Yes, sir. I'm 
mean, come on, bro. The brawl na na no is so simple and effective. I adore it. Whenever I think of Sonic, I think of this. I mean, yeah, this is obviously this shot is such a it's such a funny shot, but it's such a good shot. The whale chase him, Sonic just running forward. Love it. Love it so much. And Mista says, I will fight like I always have. I love this shot so much as well. Shout out getting ready. One of the rawest moments from 06. But yeah, those are a lot of the iconic shots that were in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think are some of the most fake favorite iconic shots. And of course, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. I love you.